July 7th, the first gate was opened for one meter for approximately one hour. That was in preparation to ensure it worked to take some of the load from the existing spillway. The record water levels across the province we experienced here as well. Uh, this was probably a 65 year record of, of water flows. Um, the existing spillway was at its capacity. We came to the point where we may have had to open one of the gates to assist in taking on some of that flow. Uh, it caused us to divert some of the work because of opening more gates on the high base spillways, which interrupted the work going on on the powerhouse tie-in wall section. So it, it hampered some of the work that was going on here on site. Today, we opened gates six and seven with gate one as the control for water. We were monitoring the sediment downstream to ensure we didn't exceed our environmental licensing limits. We've now transferred flow from the existing or the old spillway over to the new spillway. So now we have full river control on the new spillway. Uh, we've, this morning we've shut down the gates to the existing spillway and in the process of sealing those gates off. Because of the, the age of the structure, there's a fair bit of leakage that occurs after the gates are closed. So we have the divers come in, they drop cinders down, which is a, a granular product that seals off the gate. And then if there's larger leaks, they use a, a material called oakum, which they manually chink into the, into the openings to seal off the gates. Now that we've flipped from the old to the new, we can start the ground prep for, for the main dam that's going across, the Earthfield Dam. The Earthfield Dam will be built starting next year. It'll go from the spillway deck itself on the west end of the spillway deck across the spillway shelf just upstream from the current trestle bridge that's in place. It will cross the center island and then tie into the powerhouse. And it runs along the East Gravity Dam on, on the powerhouse. The older structure will remain in the forebay. It'll remain as a concrete skeleton in the water. It will be eventually stripped of all mechanical, electrical, steel components, leaving behind just the concrete structure, similar to what you would see at Old Pinawa just uh, the skeleton itself and it would eventually become fish habitat.